and what's it like sort of blocking for those guys? I mean, they're they're so diverse. There's so many of them that uh, you know, whether it's Amac or uh, you know any of the others. Like, how is it sort of? Oh uh, well, be honest with you, I only see it on film because if you're if you're looking at a running back as a lineman, you're not really doing too good. <laughs> fair, fair. Yeah, so, so yeah, so you you just see them when they're when they when they pass. Yeah, it. I, I see yeah, the yeah. touchdowns. I don't really see anything behind me because I'm I'm trying to open the holes for them. Gotcha. gotcha. Darren, how have you all taken to this new offensive scheme, the spread option, Loxley, what he had at Alabama? How exciting is it and how, how well he picked up on it? Uh, it's really exciting. The playmakers get the ball. Uh, we spread it all around. And, of course, we got the backs to do it. So, I mean, for us, is we're going to have to protect and we have to open up the holes. But I feel like we're going to be a very explosive offense. And how have you guys as a unit taken the next step this year? Now, last uh, year you had some injuries, maybe some ups and downs. Some people have questioned you all coming in this season. What's Maryland O-line going to be like? Mm -hmm. It's still a mystery. How have you defined yourself this fall so far? Oh, we're going to be a tough physical group. Uh, we're going to be able to run the ball and we're going to be able to protect. And um, we come out here every day to work on that and improve on that. Where's that coming from? The coaching staff? Have they instilled more physicality or toughness in you all? Uh, I, don't, I don't feel like that. Together more? I feel like we, we're a close-knit group just because the situation we came from, we came out of. Um, so we're very close, coach or not. Um, we're, we're also, me and Ellis, Johnny, Sean, we all lead the room. And uh, we're, we're going to get better every day because we've played, we have experience. So we just impart that on the younger guys to bring them along and form our group and form what we want to be on the field. In coming to the Jack Litch uh, Law Group office, I felt very at ease. Um, I was treated very kindly, and I felt that this is the person that I wanted to work with. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the big dogs. The Jack Litch Law Group. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. And impressions of Jalen at left tackle. How's he coming along? Is he going to be able to protect that blind side this year? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely is. Jalen is a freak athlete. So we just got to get him up to speed mentally. But on the field, his ability is limitless. And I know the two deep is key in developing that second team. Who have you seen step up or youngins that have come in, be it Hunt or anyone else that have caught your eye so far? Uh, uh, Sean, no, not Sean, my bad. He's Spencer, first team, right? <laughs> <laughs> Spencer, Evan, Evan's playing really good. Yeah. Tyron has gotten a lot better at right tackle. Mm -hmm. uh, so all those three guys are really going to help us, and that, we're improving our depth every day. And Fontaine moving from defense um, to mm -hmm. offense, how have you seen him from spring to fall, his development? Uh, it's been great. Austin played offense in high school, so yeah. he's not that unfamiliar with it. And he runs, and he's very athletic. So you should see him pulling. I mean, it's pretty fun to watch. And he's take, he's he's pretty good, good at all offense. Were you on the same line? Oh, on offense? Yeah. In high school? Yeah. Uh, no. He didn't play. When he first got there, he just played defense. But when I left, like his junior year and senior year, they needed him to play both ways. Biggest uh, remembrances of you last year is cutting out as the guard pulling and blowing up a middle linebacker. How's that feel when you have that 10-yard head start and get to play at somebody? Uh, it's pretty fun. Uh, I, I wish I could do it every play. Yeah, so do we. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty fun to do, and I hope I get to do it some more. And who are some of the young, skilled guy weapons that have emerged in camp so far that have caught your eye? You know, Jay Sean going down. Who have you seen step up in the breach? Well, all our young school guys have stepped up. Um, you know what I'm saying? Especially receivers. All of them can play. So they're all going to make plays. They're all making plays out here in practice. And really, they're interchangeable. Everyone can make plays, and we're excited to get the ball to them. Mm -hmm. What are your first week impressions of the quarterback from Virginia Tech here now? Oh, he's doing pretty good. To be honest with you, I don't know who's throwing the ball. To, <laughs> you know, like I said, anyone's behind me is pretty hard to see because I'm trying to protect him, trying to protect the quarterback, trying to protect the running back, trying to open up holes. So I mean, I don't really see it till film, but I mean, I'm heard, I've heard pretty good things, and um, uh, we've all done good. We've all gotten better as offense. How about Mabry, the tight end? He's a little closer to you, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I, Tyler's, he is a specimen. He's pretty big. Mm -hmm. uh, he can run, catch, and he can block. So I'm, 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 we're going to be really good at tight end. I'm, I'm expecting big things from him. What has John Reagan uh, imparted to you so far? What are the things that stand out from the offensive line coach? Uh, just me personally. Uh, every day he expects me to play lower, get my pads down. And that's something i got to work on for me as just trying to go to the next level. And so that's something we work on constantly every day. We work on our punch. We work on our initial footsteps. And uh, that, that's what we talk about every day in the film room and in practice. And we're improving on that every day. And what do you think is the difference this year with this team? Because so many new stamps, new schemes, a lot of motivation off of last year, the lows you guys have hit from last year to this year, and now a new kind of chapter turning. I mean, how much is that you know, motivating you all? 
uh, we don't really think about external factors. We're internally motivated. So, I mean, we're not really worried about what other people say or other people think. We know the team we have in our room, and we're just excited to go out and prove it. And playing for Coach Loxley, you've seen the spring, you've seen the fall now. How has he pushed your buttons that other coaches have not made? Well, Coach Loxley, he gets to know his players pretty well. So most coaches, they really don't know you that well, so they don't know the buttons that they can push or not. But he knows all his players. We're all a family. So he knows when to push, when to love. And uh, you can tell it. You can see it on the field.